So finals day at the St. Moritz match race after a week of sailing at 5,000 feet in the Swiss Alps and three teams left to decide who will be the 2009 King of the Mountain. As the crews prepared in the morning session, the remaining semi-final between Torvald Mursky of Australia and Philippe Pressy of the French match racing team was quickly dispensed with Mursky taking his third victory to advance to the final with a 3-1 scoreline and claim his share of the 150,000 Swiss francs prize purse. Waiting for him was 23-year-old Adam Anoprio from New Zealand, making this a repeat of the Portugal match cup between these two last June, with the Kiwis eager to avenge their defeat there. The first match of the final was held in light and shifty conditions, with the tacticians working overtime to read the Zephyrs on Lake St. Moritz. Anoprio's tactician, Tom Parry, won the first beat, edging his team into the lead as they approached the weather mark after forcing Mursky wide. But it was a margin of less than a boat length as they rounded, the Aussies hot on their heels. Approaching the lured mark after an anxious slide downwind, Mursky moved to take the inside line, insisting he had room. But the umpires upheld Monoprio's indignant protest. The Australians judged to have infringed Rule 18 in not allowing sufficient room inside the two boat length circle around the mark, with Chief Umpire Bill Edgerton penalising Mursky a second time for what he deemed a professional foul on Monoprio. A double penalty effectively handing the opening match to the Kiwis, who extended away around the course to score first blood. In match two, the Australians broke back a point to even the tie at one each, but due to the light wind conditions, the race committee shortened the finals to a first to two win series, turning the third final into a sudden death winner take all match with a prize purse of 36,000 Swiss francs. No pressure there then. Monoprio seeds the initiative this time, getting the edge off the start, his team reading the shifts perfectly to lead all the way around and leaving the Australians in his wake to cross the line and win the San Moritz match race. We had a great day racing uh, Torva in the finals, the other young team on the tour, and to come up trumps, unlike Portugal a month ago, we're stoked and um, really pleased with the way we sailed. And we just we just felt that today was our day. Nothing seemed to go wrong. Everything uh, just flowed and went well together, and that uh, we're really pleased to come away with the result. They, they had a, an edge on us the whole the whole final series so we've got to really congratulate them they, they sound awesome but uh, second for us is a really good result and it's a solid result for the tour so we're still in the hunt for the end of the end of the year the honors go to Adam Monoprio and Emirates team New Zealand black match racing who now regain the number one position on the world match racing tour with 86 points ahead of Mursky who moves second on 74 points while Mathieu Richard drops to third on 68 the tour moves to Denmark in three days, but for now, Adam Monoprio and his team can enjoy their new title as the 2009 King of the Mountain here at the San Moritz Match Race.